Hey guys, it's Megan from Grim Planner here and I've got a haul for you guys today. I don't have it all laid out here because um, I'm going to be recording this bit by bit as stuff comes in. Um, I have a small stack of stuff that trickled in this week so I figured I would go ahead and start getting this haul film so I can start putting things away. Um, my planning area has just gotten to be out of control a mess and so I need to start figuring a way to just kind of keep it clean and updated. So I figured at the very least for right now, I'll just go ahead and um, film this haul as things are coming in. Next up, I have this little order from Peachy Plans. This was my last PR order that I placed with her. Um, I am no longer on her team. She has a new team for um, summer or spring, maybe. So uh, this is a cute little freebie, of course, her little peachy freebies that come with it. And then I did some of her scripts, so I did a yoga one. Um, I don't think, as of right now, I'm going to go back to pole when the studio opens back up. Um, I'm certain that they will do everything that they can, and as somebody who worked there, I know we already did what we, like, did a lot to keep it clean, but it's just, if we're not wearing masks, it just stresses me out to be there and I think it's I think it can be very dangerous to wear masks because it, it's already like you're already breathing hard and heavily from working out and now to add that like restriction to it is probably really difficult um and I completely respect that but that would in my mind mean I can't see my family for a long time like especially my mom I couldn't see her because she's compromised um so I think I'm going to be taking time off from pole at least until a um a vaccine is available, I guess. I mean, part of me feels like I'm kind of over overreacting, but then I also think, could you really overreact when it comes to the health of you and your family? I don't think you could. So anyway, picked up these yoga stickers because I've got a daily burn account again for like yoga and other little workouts. And then I got these tired AF stickers. And then I think she threw this one in because I'm producing, I ordered these ones and I did this um, I did a custom. This is the ACNH for Animal Crossing New Horizon so that I wasn't having to write it out all the time. And I went with the small one just so it would fit, but then she sent me this one too, which I thought was really nice. And it's actually like a decent size. So I've used that and you can see like there's two stickers missing. I just use them in my planner this week. So, and then we have date night stickers. And then I picked up a bunch of her like translucent, flags in all colors. So we have green, purple, pink, and blues. Ooh, let me show that again. <laughs> green, purple, pinks, and blues. It was way off screen. And then again, this was like my last PR order. So I just picked a couple of things. I've got some coffee mugs here that are in the neutral. And then I got gaming um, peaches. Uh, my husband and I have just been, we're trying to find a game that we could both play together. So I really wish you could play, I love Fable as just like a fun little story type game. It's like Sims, but like a fun medieval Sims, I guess. Um, so I prefer that. And, but it's not a dual player game, which really bothers me. So, but I have my little gaming stickers. I have my little, these are like work from home, but I just thought it was cute with like little robe and coffee and just computer so I could use this for anything. And then I got some more um, FaceTime stickers and then a couple of larger Bachelor Bachelorettes just because I am getting into these larger icons right now than what I normally use. So that is everything from Peachy Plans. Next up I have this order here from Jellyfish Stickers and it just came wrapped so nicely and if you watched my last haul you saw that I'm getting more into like decorative type stickers for use in other journals um other planners other journals of sorts that I have one is not it's just a blackout notebook that I really like and that's my witchy tarot journal but um Especially with my other new one that I got, I did get a personal wide print pressions, which I will show you soon. It'll come up here soon in this haul. Um, 
yeah, I figured decorative stickers would be a lot of fun. So again, jellyfish stickers. Oh, I didn't really share a website. I just usually order on Etsy. I like when people have their own shops. I think that like, you know, I know that Etsy is, um, can be more expensive for shop owners and that's why their prices are higher for than their customers. And so a lot of people have switched over to like Shopify sites. But the one thing I do like about Etsy is that I can put like everything and just like check out all at once. <laughs> that makes it really nice little freebie that came with it we've just got some crystals here another little freebie of this these cute women just out and about very spring and then we've got these um very fall like florals and leaves and stuff like that there's a little twig down there this one i got in more of the green so it could be a bit more spring but also into fall I got this one of witchy stuff. She is magic. I've seen this in a kit somewhere and a couple of kits. I just never bothered to pick up the kit with, you know, the same type of um, imagery, but I thought this would be nice. Like again, just to toss into one of my other ones. Another little witchy one. Yeah, I think these were all like the same. These all came from like a, the same kit because I remember that scene too a bit. We just got some nighttime ones. We've got a couple of moons, some flowers, owls. I have a sister who is like, she does not like owls. She's terrified of owls. Some geometric florals, more geometric florals. I know this one is used. I had a kit that I used, um, I think in February from Let's Plan It that had the same, that was from like the same, um, clip art place and hers had like red hair like it was red red and it was just so gorgeous and I'm like I just want to be this woman so pretty just some more like nighttime animals we've got some boxes and florals more florals more florals I never used to be a flower person but suddenly I like flowers more florals I was like wait did I order two of the same no I just ordered a bunch just to have I did get this very witchy one, which, or this very Halloween one, which I think would be a lot of fun. Got a couple of those that I, like I said, I think will be a lot of fun to add um, in during October. This other little more modernized version. I got the two of those. Um, I've seen some kits with this and I've like, there is a kit from one shop that I was like, I love this, but then I got to the washi, like the bottom washi part and I just didn't love it. And so I don't know what to, like, I haven't picked it up. I still could, but I don't know what I would use for washi um, otherwise. So I'll have to think it through. But anyway, that is my, all my decorative stuff from Jellyfish Stickers. Next up, I have this order from The Beautiful Mess, and I just wanted to show how it's all wrapped up. I think that's so cute. This is a little freebie that came with it, kind of like a little girl boss freebie, and then this is the kit. And I don't remember the name of the kit off the top of my head, but it's this very, like, dark spooky could easily be used for Halloween I guess but I could also use it for anything else it doesn't necessarily scream Halloween with a bunch of like oranges and stuff like that I just thought this was so so gorgeous and if anybody is a Doctor Who fan tell me you aren't getting weeping angel feels from this full box right here and then you've got the bottom washi oh I love that just a spooky foggy street Got your check boxes, your little things, your assortment of boxes, and then washi. First time I've ever ordered from her. I had actually a couple of them, but there was one of hers that I wasn't crazy about one of the boxes. I'm like, I could replace it with a different box, but then I was, oh yeah, it was just, it was. I'll still look, but as of right now, I just picked up this one, which I picked up from like, I think during a sale. I really need to keep track of what orders I purchased from which sales 
so that I could be like, and I got this from the blah, blah, blah sale. But anyway, so usually I'm like, I see some shops and I'm like, all right, I'm going to go full hog into this and just buy a bunch of stuff. But then I've learned that once I get the kits, I may not always like exactly how it was set up or I may not like the paper. So, um, I've learned to just like limit myself with like one, one or two kits at a time. So that is the beautiful mess. This next order is from the Pretty Pink Co. So you get this little doily that is, I think, just kind of stuck. Oh yeah, it's, there's, it's just stuck to your envelope. It's a little like acetate kind of envelope. I think that's right. And then we've just got a little journaling card, Dream Plan Do. It's very soft. Well, looks like we've got here some little freebies. Her shop does have a fairly long turnaround. I think I ordered this the beginning of April and I recently got it, maybe last week. So hers does have um, kind of a long turnaround time to get these. And I've ordered like, I have like three orders. This, now I think I have two outstanding orders still. So, um, but she has so many cute things, like especially at, like her $2 Tuesdays, it's hard not to. And she does usually combine, like she'll say, if you purchase something this past weekend and then $2 Tuesdays, then she'll combine it for you. I just always forget to tell her to do that. So just some cute little freebies, some gold foil. And then I picked up, well, in this order, I have two different kits. I apparently also need to write down the orders, <laughs> the names of the kits that I pick up because I don't have that. And I don't have an actual receipt in there, so it might be on a different one. Yeah, I don't know. It was like, I don't remember. So first this one is like these dark, you know, it's blacks, grays, whites, and silver. I love that combination. This says grow through what you go through. And as somebody who didn't really like florals, I'm still a sucker for anything that is in a monochrome. So I am here for this. So you've got your full boxes, your assorted boxes, some flags, and then your bottom washi. I think you can purchase your headers separately, but their bow has headers and I don't really, it's not super crazy. Like I don't mind my simply gilded simple bows, but like a bunch of little bows in a row, I wouldn't care for. I have asked this before. I'm like, what is this planner thing in bows? Cause everybody, you know, everybody's got their different bows. And so everybody loves different bows. I'm like, what's your favorite bow? And I'm like, not a bow, I guess. Where are all the people who are like, and here are all the skulls. Sorry, it's a little dark. And then I've got this one of just plants. To plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow. And I definitely think nowadays we need to remember and believe in tomorrow. So again, this is silver. I don't know if you can really tell. There you, it is. Sometimes it's hard with my light. It will almost reflect like a paler gold color, but it's definitely silver. And bottom washi. Very pretty. Very pretty. All right. That is everything from the Pretty Pink Co. Here we have Harriet Wright Designs. This one also took a long time. I really love her shop, but it's in the UK and it takes forever to get here. Um, and I've like tried to find other shops that have similar styles to what I like, but there are just some things that I just can't find that I like the same that I like hers. So I just have to be smart when placing orders and like place extras of like certain flags that I like or certain icons that I like. And for somebody who just said she doesn't care for bows too much, 
I like her bow icons. Um, it's just another little extra something to them. So that's kind of cute to me, but I'm not like super into bows, but I do enjoy her icons. Um, so I've got a few different kits here. As you can see, it's like, it's literally just the beginning of summer. It's not even technically summer because it's still May, but um, I just am gravitated. I gravitate towards those colors. That's just my style. So first up, you've got your little business card and then we've got this moon child as you guys know I'm a sucker for a moon kit so this is the moon was so beautiful this is so weird but I love hers are vinyl and I love the smell of her stickers <laughs> I like the smell of vinyl it makes me think of like pool days it makes me think of like pool floats so we got your full boxes check boxes, assorted boxes, headers and little things, We've got some flags. Oh, this is like an alternative full box. That's really pretty. And then you've got your bottom washi. Is that right? Are those hearts? I think it goes that way. Yeah. So pretty. And this is in like, I think a rose gold. So another moon kit to add to my pile. And then I ordered this chapter um, kit. I thought it said chapter book. It's just chapter. I think when I place this, so I was trying to find, I I wonder if I had originally planned on using this for Beltane because it had similar colors or it might be for Lunasaw that I'm looking for. It might be Lunasaw. Um, it's hard to find things that really like, that really like give out that Sabbath's feel. Um, so I was looking for colors that are often associated with the different Sabbaths. So I, so I think this one is for Lunasaw if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'll have to double check. So I just went, I liked the really, the colors. And I mean, you've got kind of like this slightly witchiest feel of like these candles, a fire, and then it's just reading and coffee. And so, and I'm a big reader, so I'm, I'm okay with this. And so there's your full boxes. We'll just flip through these real quick. My husband is, as we speak, making banana bread. So excited. <laughs> Apparently, banana bread is the official bread of the uh, quarantine pandemic. The official bread of the pandemic. Probably because it's one that doesn't require um, yeast. And you can't get yeast anywhere right now around here. Um, it's really disappointing. So he also spent the week making a starter for his sourdough. And he says he's not the baker, that he does the cooking. And I like to bake and I don't like to cook, but I don't love to bake. It's very rare that I'm like all about doing any kind of anything, but I've been wanting banana bread, but he's making it. So, all right, this one I've got is Boho Dreams. You can see it looks a lot, like it goes well with the other two kits, very similar colors. Um, these I think are great transitions into fall but I could very well see myself using it this summer too. She's an old soul with young eyes, a vintage heart and a beautiful mind. That's what the quote is. I'm really liking these like paint swatch type stickers these days. We'll just flip through this real quick and this is gold foil. Oh, I love these deep colors. I'm trying to be more colorful even in my wardrobe, but I'm always just drawn towards these. I always like to say, it doesn't matter what time of year it is, I'm always ready for fall. This order is from um, Jessica Hartz, and she, I think, was running a little sale, so I picked up a few things. Um, I got a couple of washi strips, which I didn't realize at the time were like a glittered textured washi, um, but I really like the patterns that are on this, so. We shall see how I use them. And then I picked up this little essentials pouch. So, so cute. 
And then this is the sticker order. Thank you for your order. I truly appreciate your support and I hope you love it, Jessica. Spread joy. All right, so first thing we've got here is the Princess Quarantine Bucket List. So it's got little things like clean my tower, flip my fins in the bath, be in bed by midnight, wish I could be part of that world. So super cute little fun scripts. And then I got her uplifting quotes and I think I did order these in like one of every oh there's a little fairy tale freebie and then I've got yep one in every I got oh maybe not in rose gold I got it in silver of these uplifting quotes you are not alone in this one moment at a time take a breath you can do this be gentle with yourself you're doing the best you can I am relaxed, I am calm, it's okay to not be okay. Find the calm among the chaos. Smile, breathe, and go slowly. So I ordered several of those. And then I just picked up some of her foil overlays, not necessarily for any specific kits. I just thought these would be kind of fun and I thought they were pretty cute. So we've got a fairy tale foil of like these lights. And it's really hard when I order these because I'm like, what? finish do I want these in and I just have to make my best guess as to what I could see myself using these with so dreams dreamy neutrals another dreamy neutrals I just got that one in rose gold as well ice castle foil overlay sometimes we need a little magic and then spring on the farm foil overlay so hello spring which we're pretty much past I mean, I could still use these, but I just like that these were a little bit minimal. There's usually things that I see that I'm like, you know what, this bottom washi could use like a little foil, but I don't want like overly foil. Um, and everybody's always does like, like the glitter type ones over it. And I'm want some options that are a bit more minimalistic and simplistic. I picked up this sunshine kit. I picked this up to make it like the full, I think, ultimate. So here are the full boxes. Sorted boxes and date covers. Bottom washi. And then this was just the added on for to make it the ultimate kit. And then it has um, foil overlay. I can smile and love others every day, no matter what. I, oh, no, but just it starts here. Every day, no matter what I face, I can smile and love others and take it one day at a time. And then some days you have to create your own sunshine. And then, oh, I did have a couple more of these dreamy neutrals and silver and in hollow so I definitely probably because these are like really minimalistic I'm like I could use these for anything so I got one of each one of each finished and I am so excited for this kit this is the fairy summer solstice oh I love it so much so I definitely know what I'm using for June 21st, I think is the solstice. I think it is this year. Um, I don't know if it changes. Sometimes I feel like it's the 20th or the 22nd, but I believe this year is the 21st. So this will definitely be on my, for my June summer, the week of the summer solstice. So gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. So excited. I've really started enjoying photo kits a lot lately too, so. Things that I didn't like at one time. It's amazing how your planning style changes. And I wanted to talk about that. Like I wanted to do a what I learned my first year of planning um, for people who might be new to it. Um, and I just haven't because shit happened about the time that I was ready to do it. I figured I would like film a plan with me and then do a voiceover. And I just haven't done a plan with me in a long time because what is there to say? When I do nothing, this says the sun will always rise um, when I'm just home all day. I don't know what else, I don't know what to plan in my thing. I mean, I just, I journal plan. So it's like, I 
did the laundry. I um, cleaned the kitchen. I played Animal Crossing. That's what a lot of it is. Animal Crossing, podcasts that I listen to, what I'm currently watching on TV. That is the majority of my planner stuff. This order here is from Kinsey's Creations. As you can see, it's already missing a handful of stickers because I immediately started using them um, in my print pression dailies. So that is why there are some missing. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you these little freebies. I did use uh, Domi from Bonjour Domi's code. So I got her little freebie. And then I got this um, kind of like stay home quarantine style um, freebie. And then I've got these that I did as a custom Grateful Four. Um, they're a little bit smaller than I thought they would come out to be. And so um, I'm using them, but I am looking for some other shops that I can do them a little bit bigger because I want them to take up a little bit more space in my dailies. Um, but I'm going to use these up for now. And then I did order some date dots because I didn't want that to be the only thing I ordered. So I did order one of each of the four common metals. Um, ooh, I'm not even in screen. So one of each of those. And then I did get these um, Hello Months so that I could use those also in my dailies for when I'm starting the new month. I didn't start them until June, so I haven't actually used my Hello June. I need to, there it is, Hello June. I need to put that in um, back on June 1st, but yeah, that's there. And then I just picked up some of these nap stickers anything that takes a bit, bit more space and I do nap a lot so that is it for Kinsey's creations all right this shop here is from the planner co if you do not follow me already on Instagram I recently became a PR person for the planner co um, and so this was my PR order that I placed with her and I went a little bit crazy but I thought it would be fun so first I got some of these um, foil overlays. I am a sucker for uh, like photo corner type stickers. And then similarly, I got some of the full boxes and I believe I got these in gold, silver, gold, and rose gold. So I like the just simple lines of them. I think that's so clean and modern. I picked up some self-care stickers, laundry day. During this time of coronavirus, I haven't been doing a whole lot. I don't leave the house that often anymore. So I'm liking anything that is a bit larger to fill space in my um, Erin Condren. And then I just thought these sticky notes were really fun to either use in my Erin Condren or use in my dailies for like an added little message or something in there. So I did pick up the neutrals of them um, since I'm not a big brights person. Although and then you see these flags, I ordered a bunch of these flags, um, just anything to add a little bit of something extra to my spreads. And then she had these two, she had more than these two, but I really thought these were kind of cute. Um, these are 30 day challenges. So there's a sleek arms and a butt lift challenge. So you've got like squats over here and then, um, arm workouts considering because of coronavirus, um, my gym's not open. And as of right now, I don't plan on returning to my gym, um, at all. There has been some issues that have come up during the black lives matter thing where I'm not, I'm just not going to talk about it. Um, it, I've posted a little bit on Instagram. It's been a bit ugly, but plus just with coronavirus, it just didn't seem like um, a risk I'm willing to take to get sick um, just to go to class. So I need some things to do and I thought this would be really fun to have um, to throw into my planner or my dailies, probably my dailies, um, and check them off and do them. Maybe I will start them in July. So I have night, like, I'm really weird. I like like a nice clean, like, if I'm gonna start a diet, I always start it on a Monday because it just makes sense to me. But anyway, so yeah, I think these will be fun. I'm gonna use these. And then I picked up a couple of kits. Of course, why not pick up a Christmas kit? I mean, it's June, it's fine. I wanna say I think I'd seen this last year or one like it and I never picked it up and I was really upset and I couldn't go back, I couldn't find it. Like I was scrolling through Instagram trying to find it through all the people I followed. Um, I loved this 
much, like this is a very different take on a holiday type kit with the yellows and the browns. And so I really like that. So I saw that. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to pick that up for this year. It's never too soon. And then I did the, you know what? I should probably show you guys. <laughs> I'll show you these ones real quick and then we'll come back. Uh, so we've got, um, this is comfy and comfy cozy are we? So you've got your full boxes, half boxes, quarter boxes, some sidebar stuff, bottom washy, date covers, date dots, headers, some more boxes. I'm incapable of using my fingers. For the love of all that is holy, could you just, there we go. <laughs> We've got some deco here and appointment labels and then some icons and glitter headers. All right, so we'll just kind of run through these quickly then on these ones. This one's the plant lady. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. I'm trying to convince my husband, not obviously to this scale, but to make himself like, you can buy like a kit for greenhouses. So I'm trying to convince my husband to get one um for the backyard because we are running out of space in our house because of all the plants that he keeps so i'm like please get one of those so that we can have some space again glitter headers and then there's this pink lemonade kit i'm gonna try to loosen these up a little bit before i actually start flipping through them So it has been a heck of a week here. We we had a massive storm blow through that lasted like not 10 minutes, I don't think. But in that short amount of time, managed to take out our fence, half part of our fence. I am always somebody who's like, let's just hire professionals to come out and do it. And my husband is like, I don't know. Is it, do we need to? Do we need to spend that kind of money? Is it an easy fix? So... A bunch of our friends were amazing. They rallied together and spent two days out here just helping us get um, our fence back up, which we greatly appreciate it. And so it's nice to be on this Saturday and just being able to relax and not think about it. This is the So Delicious kit. I'm a sucker for coffee and pastries and stuff, so. In fact, I went to Costco this week and they didn't have any of their cheesecakes, which are amazing. And I, cause I was going to buy one and they're massive and I was just going to get one and then divide them up and freeze them. They didn't have any of them. So I picked up this like tuxedo cake, which is like chocolate mousse with, I think like a cream cheese, like a, like a cheesecake type of filling and cake. It was amazing. So I spent like all week eating it, my husband and I, and then we had friends over after they finished the rest of the fence yesterday. Um, we played card games and I gave them cake because I'm a good person and I'm like, I need to get this out of the house before I eat the whole thing. All right, so that is my order from the Planner Co. And I will make sure I link my code for her down at the bottom. I think it's 20% off. Um, and yeah, next up. All right, next up we have uh, Jessica Hartz. So this is her little freebie that comes with it. Spread joy with a little thank you on the back. And then this is a little weekend freebie. So pretty. And then I picked up um Oh, apparently only did I really? Oh, I must have. So I picked up these two uplifting quotes. Um one in gold and one in silver. There are, you are capable of amazing things. Storms won't last forever. It's okay if all you did today was breathe and you are powerful, beautiful, brilliant, and brave. So I did pick those up in one in gold and one in silver. And then I'd seen these really cute audiobooks. I do listen to a lot of audiobooks, so I did pick these up one in each metal. And then I picked up this Into the Woods kit, which I just thought was so gorgeous. Um, it just gives me those like witchy vibes that I appreciate in kits. So there are your full boxes, half and quarter boxes. 
I like this very like bold brush stroke of the like weekend here. And I don't tend to use my weekends all that often, but I feel like I should um, love this. We've got little things, and then I always add this little extra one for the ultimate kit. I don't like to buy the full kits. I like to buy the mini kits because I don't need all the checklists. Um, but then I add this onto it, so I have the glitter headers. And then this is the rose gold full. Did I do rose gold? Yep, rose gold overlay over the river and into the woods. So very excited for that. And that is everything. That was a pretty small order I placed with um, Jessica Hearts. This is my last um, Glam Planner Color Club subscription. Um, this was for the month of May. I had finally got it canceled, but I still got May's because I did cancel it after the fact. Um, so as of right now, I don't know how I feel about this. Like I like some of these aspects, but I'm not crazy about the whole thing. Um, this to me, like, yeah, they're women, but this over here, that looks like a dog ear just randomly off the side of it. I might be crazy, but that's how I feel. Um, here are the boxes. I do, this is coming off like really teal on here, more blue than green, but it's definitely more green than blue. This looks really gray, but it's definitely like a sage green. And I love those. Those are gorgeous colors. So yeah, we'll see if I decide to keep it or not. So and that is all from Glam Planner. Next, I have an order here from um, Honey Inked. I did place quite a foil order, order with her, which I keep telling myself to stop. And then I just buy more. It's a problem. Uh, let's see. I did use, so we've got these little freebies that are included. So there are two of them. I do love these black icons. I really need to get more black icons. Sometimes I have spreads that I don't want to do foil with and it's really difficult when almost all of my icons are spreads. Um, this past week I have been particip participating in the Black Lives Matter Planner Challenge and it has been, it's been tricky because I don't have enough black icons. Um, so that kind of really opened my eyes to how much I actually enjoy just the simplicity of them, the cleanliness without the shine. Uh, so yeah, I definitely need to look into picking more of those up. And then I did use, um, Rachel from The Gathered Plans, her code, so I did get her freebie. All right, let's dive in because there's a lot to go here. Speaking of black, I did get some of these simple black dividers, these um, fancy pen flourishes. Um, I got some of these like lacy, again, I'm just using them as dividers. So I think that's what they're meant for. So I got them in black, silver, and rose gold. Um, I picked up some of these Again, dividers. I don't know why I keep, I feel like that's pretty pretty much all of it. I don't think I picked up any icons. Um, so these are just gold little like, um, like plant type flourishes, gold and silver. These fancy pen flourishes, rose gold and gold. And then I did pick up, you know, it's so hard to tell the mini um, mandalas in the pictures because I was looking for ones that I could kind of like cut in half and then add them to like little corners and I think this could work but these are still these are smaller than I thought so I could just use them against side I don't know we'll figure it out but I was like it was so hard to tell how it would look in the planner so I just went ahead and grabbed some though so we've got them in rose gold gold black. We've got some other ones. These were like lace. These are just half mandalas. Got a couple more of these fancy little plants in rose gold and in black. And then some of this lace in gold. And then more pen flourishes. I should have like organized these so then they were all together in silver and in black. 
fancy pen flourishes in rose gold and gold and then some more um, half mini mandalas so and that is my order from Honey Inked. Next up, this is the first time I placed an order with um, Aurora and Avalon, and I was really excited for this stuff. They have a lot of like, um, of like the different like stickers and kits for the different Sabbaths throughout the year. So I was really excited to pick up some of the stuff that they had. It came with this cute little card. It's not like a business card; it's blank on the back, but just a cute little hair and the moon, and then this journaling card, which says, with heartfelt gratitude and love, we thank you for being a special part of our lives. Avalon and Aurora. And the extra, their envelope comes, the envelope that this came in, it looks the exact same. Um, and then I can't remember, the, I think it's like there's a little goddess in all of us or something like that, I can't remember, D don't quote me on that. <laughs> and this is what I got in my order. So this is this little midsummer, what did they call it? Like a pocket? I wish I had a receipt, uh, like a little pocket kit. So I plan on using this um, for the summer solstice in my um, daily. So I was looking for smaller things to put in there. So you've got this really gorgeous tree, some headers, little brain dump sticker, gratitudes. I actually need like a whole sheet of these because I'm trying to do five things I'm grateful for each day. Um, I've been working on that for about a like, mm, month now, maybe a month and a half. Uh, Peridot is a crystal of positive power, creator power that is the source of all abundance. And then just some little washies. So again, that's for midsummer, or I think it's also called Litha. I think this is a little freebie. I didn't order this. So this must be just a little freebie that was tossed in there. Be mindful, be queen, so cute. Be mindful, be grateful, be positive, be divine, be happy, be yourself, be kind, and be authentic. And then I did pick up a couple of these um, like journaling cards to put into my print impressions, which I haven't shown. I picked this up. This is the Personal Wide Rings print impressions from, I mean, Personal Wide Rings from Print Impressions. Um, that's just my little, oh, you can't even see it on camera. Um, and then I've got all of these inserts from Lights Planner Action. So I did pick up some of these journaling cards that I can add in here. They are a little bit bigger, so I might just trim it down like a skosh, just so it fits a little bit more nicely in there. Um, but yeah, I just ordered that in like a five by seven or that might just be the only ones that they have. I can't remember. So I did pick up that one with the moon. And I ordered this here that's got the full moons of 2020 and then the new moons of 2020. I'll probably just pop that right in the beginning of that um, planner. And then I did pick these, pick up this Make Your Own Magic. It's kind of like a two page mini kit of sorts. Um, so gorgeous, just like this very like goddess-esque, I love it. And then this washi is gorgeous. Interesting, her washi, the washi on this is different. Like the texture, like you can see it's got like a shine to it versus the normal paper. That's so interesting, it's very soft. It's not like it's kind of got that glossiness, like sheen to it, but it's not quite glossy. It's like glossy glossy. It's what I probably would consider like a satin in paint. I used to work at Home Depot, so sometimes I think about things and paint finishes. Um, I got this journaling card, so gorgeous. Just reaching up for that moon. And then we've, I picked up this Rebirth. Um, I don't know that I'll use the whole kit. I really picked it up mostly for, I love, I love skulls. They're just gorgeous to me, especially when you add flowers. It's just, oh, it's everything. Um, so these I'll probably use in my daily as well. So that is my order from Aurora and Avalon. And then as always, last but not least, I always save the best for last. I say that every time I make a video that is a haul that includes Let's Plan It 
Let's plan it. Another good size order from them. I, lo I love Britney stuff, so we're just gonna dive right in because Lord knows I can just wax poetic about it all the time. Here is a little May freebie. Blackout stickers work on white paper too and you can color them in. Oh, okay, so this is like blackout stuff. I do have a blackout from Archer and Olive. Um, I don't use it that often. It's mostly for my tarot and my, it's like a journal more for my witch work. Um, everything fun is canceled and everything boring is doubled. If that's not just the truest thing. A peek at some new icons coming June 2020. Look at that peek. Can you see? I don't know. Am I close enough? That pizza icon. And tacos. Those are so, so cute. All right. I picked up this Lori kit. So I thought these were great. I love what she did. Um, I've got a kit that's fairly similar to this. It's got a couple of the same things. But I loved this ad of like the different um, like smokes coming through of those bold colors. Cover colors, um, live and let love. This little photo, like photo phone booth thing. So gorgeous. Just some glasses. I thought this was just so unique. So I'm actually going to be using this in a couple weeks uh, because Pride was canceled. Like the Pride event is usually here in town is early in June, but it's been rescheduled to. August, but I am going to use this for the week of the Stonewall Riots, um, which is coming up here shortly at the end of the month. So I did pick that one up. And then here are just your scripts. Such bold, like those are, what's that? Your primary colors, very primary. She knocked it out of the park as always. Oh, look at that. It's so gorgeous. I mean, this is bold for my style of planning but I love 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 it and then some black glitter headers and just other headers um I did order this July um monthly not crazy about it but I am using all at let's um LPI for my monthlies in my Erin Condren um so I still picked it up I do love this. I wish maybe like these flowers had been like more of the color scheme. Um, although we do have a beach here, although we do not have palm trees here in Michigan, but still pretty. It's going to pop in there. Usually, and I often, there's some of her monthlies that I'm not crazy about, but once I actually get them laid down, I'm pretty happy with them. So, and that I also ordered the little um, July icons that go with it. And then she had quite a few new Cora's that I picked up. Um, oh, I'm so excited. So I picked up, there will probably be some repeats because I've got minis and like the normal size Cora's. So we've got this stay home one. It's got like the little sick person wearing their mask, washing your hands, a little house. I really liked this like sitting in bed with coffee in your laptop. So I figured this could also work just for like if you're sick or whatever. These little camping ones. I don't even camp that often, but if my parents are camping, I'm gonna go visit them while they're camping. I got these. Um, I do love s'mores and I just make them over my stove. I did get these uh, paint nails, manicure look. Look at that little Cora blowing on her nails to dry her nails. Is that not so fracking adorable? She's so cute. And then there she is painting her toenails. So cute. I love them. I use a dip. I don't paint my nails. I dip, but it's the same thing. It all works the same. Got two of those. And I got them also in her like medium. The It's mini, midi, and jumbo. So I did pick them up also in midi sizes because I ordered a ton of them. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That's insane. Um, because I do my nails a lot there. <laughs> and then I picked up, so this is the midi of that one. Here we've got some more minis. I was like, I thought I had more minis than that, but maybe I was crazy. So we've got some gaming ones. Um, 
I have game nights with my friends. My husband and I like to sit down and play video games together. Sometimes we're currently playing Harry Potter, the Lego Harry Potter, which I've played like the first game before, but we bought like, is it all of them for the first three? I can't remember. And we've been playing them more just for us to spend time together. So game night ones and then get ready, which I ordered, yep shit ton of them because I love her little do on their makeup ones. I think they're so stinking cute. And people had pointed out like especially like this one here could be um and the clean brushes could be for like painting too. So love love those. And then I did get some in the midi sizes of gaming. Oh, I didn't get any mid middies of getting ready. That, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. I would want them to be fairly small. And then I picked up a sheet of the middies of getting re of reading. I have a ton of minis, but again, just to fill up extra space during this time. And who knows, we may find ourselves in yet another quarantine, stay home, shelter in place type of order um, soon. You never know, especially if things start opening up and people start getting sick again. So she has some of these like sassy quotes and stuff, which I'm so excited for. So we've got this one. At first I cared, but then I was like, nah, fuck you. I silently mouth the words, what the fuck, at least 20 times a day. Goest and fucketh thyself. I'm really not miserable. I'm all peace, love, and go fuck yourself. If I say first of all, run away. If I say first of all, run away because I have prepared research data charts and I will destroy you. That is me all the time. Can you see the fuck you in my smile? If I say first, oh, it looks like, nope, yep, it just repeats. So we've got two of the same. So I was just double checking that I didn't, yeah. So, so funny. Very excited for those. And then here are the letter boards. You is petty, you is messy, you is extra. I love my grudges. I tend to them like little pets. Me and my mom talk shit about you. People think I go out of my way to piss them off. Trust me, it's not out of my fucking way at all. Don't try me. Every time I start a sentence with, first of all, I'm about to get real petty. I ain't afraid of no screenshot. I know what the fuck I said. You petty, but I'll allow it proceed. This is me to my friends all the time. Like, that was petty, but keep going. I've got a good heart, but <laughs> I've got a good heart, but this pettiness. And then we've got, I like to party, and by party I mean take naps. That is all I'm about. Listen, I still wanted to be invited, but I'm not coming. Sorry I'm late. I came as soon as I wanted to. Life is about doing things that don't suck with people who don't suck. Ew, people. This one makes me think of my friend Nikki, who is obsessed with Shit's Creek. And she has a uh, tank top that says, Ew, David, which somebody told her while she was out in public wearing it, picking up stuff for a pool night that we had um, that it was offensive. And she was just like, thank you. And just walked away from this old lady. The first five days after the weekend are the hardest. Frankly, autocorrect. I'm getting a bit tired of your shirt. I don't, I didn't see anyone today. So I'm wearing this again tomorrow. And meh, that's usually my state of being. And then these are some freebies that she threw in. I kept double checking my order because I'm like, I don't remember ordering these things. We've just got a cute little hollow um, vinyl sticker. And then she had done like a their back sale and had pulled some old kits. And it looks like she threw some of those in. Um, so this one is actually something I would definitely use. I like these colors. Hustle and Heart will set you apart. I do love this very like kind of modern look to it. These are all really washed out, but that's like, like a nice mauve pink. This is like a grayish green, uh, pale teal and some gray. So that's exciting. I got a whole extra little kit to go with everything. This is from I think these are like old, old, like I've haven't seen these before. So, and then there's this little playroom stickers, some just 
um, blank quarter boxes, glitter headers, and date covers. So yeah, that is everything from this haul. Um, I hope everybody is taking some time out for themselves. I know that, you know, with everything that's happening in this world, it's really stressful. Um, and so I really do implore you to take some time out, put yourself in time out, you know, ban yourself from any social media for some, for a little bit, just to get some air and to clear your brain because you don't want to overload yourself. I complained last night we were playing games and I complained about being really tired. My friend's like, you don't even have a job. And I was like, but I'm so mentally and emotionally exhausted that I just, I want to go to bed. Like I want to sleep all the time because that's how I feel these days. And that is like my coping mechanism is to sleep. Um, so make sure you guys are taking time for yourselves. And if you have been really upset and I don't want to go preaching to anybody, but if you have been really upset, keep in mind it is a, it's an election year. Um, 2020 is actually the 100th anniversary of when women could vote for the first time anyway. So in 1920 was the first time that women were allowed to vote in the elections. So use that out yet. Let use your voice, head to the polls in November. Don't skip your primaries because those are important too. And that's it. That's the end of my preaching and my soapbox. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you're not already, make sure you're following me on Instagram at Grim Planner. And please make sure you subscribe to my channel. I will hopefully start getting back to filming my spreads, my like plan with me's. Um, now that we are lifting a bit of the restrictions and I'm doing a bit more with friends. Um, keeping them to small, small groups still, but still just getting out of the house a bit. So yeah, I'm going to stop rambling. And I will talk to you guys all again soon. Bye.